Okay, hi guys, welcome to a quick unboxing of the The Audio Legacy 4. There will be a review up in the next uh, week or so, so if you want to see that, you're going to have to go ahead and subscribe. Uh, the Audio is the in-house brand, I believe, of Linsoul.com. Um, they do really, really good work. They listen to the buyers. They um, produce a lot of stuff that competes at a higher price point than you would expect uh, for something like this. Um, I've found Linsoul are super re responsive in giving you input. You know, when somebody says this needs a better cable, they'll, they'll give you a better cable. When somebody says this needs less bass, they also do that in their own in-house brand, but they also help to convey public sentiment to other companies like Fearless, KZ and stuff like that. So they've played a big part in really advancing the uh, Chi-Fi, Chinese Hi-Fi or Chinese IEM uh, market in the past few years. And this is the Legacy 4. This is, I believe, about $195, $200. Uh, it's a one dynamic driver of memory. I think it's a th one dynamic driver, three balanced armatures with a three-way crossover and two switch tuning modes or something. Uh, it's the, the resin style. Uh, we'll go ahead and open it up and I'll stop talking and save the rest of that stuff for the full review. So first things first, we get the box, the box is very nice, feels premium cardboard, so like something you get on a final audio. Go ahead and try and get it off, which is a struggle. Yeah, there we go, ooh, okay, so that's kind of nice, I didn't expect that, you know. You kind of expect that when you open a box like that, you're just going to get the foam with the, the earphones, but they're giving you this absolutely huge case for a set of IEMs. I don't know if there's much purpose to that, but very nice case. Uh, nicely textured. It has the uh, water-resistant zipper. Uh, it feels really premium, quite rigid, uh, and the audio branding on it. Uh, it just looks really, really, really nice. So let's take the earphones and see if our first look. Oof. Okay. Okay, so this is obviously just a presentation uh, case, but you're going to be able to, um, I guess, like you're going to be able to carry a DAP in there with uh, some other stuff. I, I think that's quite a nice way of doing the presentation. Uh, and this is going to be your day to day carry case. So top marks so far, same material as the outside, slightly different uh, weatherproof zipper. And I assume, oh, so there's the, oof, okay. A uh, little bit of furry action in there. Um, and there's a, I don't know if you can see, these are actually like gel or air filled, um, provide like a little bit of cushioning. So that's really thoughtful, very nice. Cable looks great. Uh, on first impression, a uh, little strain relief metal, 3.5 millimeter straight plug. It is a quad braid into dual twist. Uh, that means there's four strands here and there's two stand strands after the splitter. There is a metal splitter. There is a um, little plastic cable cinch, and there is the uh, flush mounting, two pin connectors, metal again, and the uh, the, the heat shrink that helps to uh, form these over the top of your ears. Very nice looking cable. Uh, very, very nice. Seems to roll up nicely. Uh, junk that you will never read. Ear tips. Uh, how am I getting this out? It's not one slab of metal, is it? Oh my god. How am I going to get this out? I don't even know if that's meant to come out. That is a huge slab of metal underneath this. Um, so ear tips onto a machined aluminium um, backboard. Uh, that's that's super super cool. 
Uh, I assume that comes out, but I don't want to rip it on camera. Um, earphones, I'm going to use this to bring it out. These look absolutely gorgeous. Look at that pattern on it. Little gold flakes on it. So we have, you can see the, the detail on the inside, you can see that balanced armature sitting in there, uh, you can see the dynamic driver just behind where it says Legacy. Uh, very small, very light, resin housing, no lip on the bore, but there are oh, there's three bores on the tip, uh, but no, well, maybe a slight protrusion uh, that's going to keep your, uh, your tips locked in place, and then there's these filter switches and um, that are going to let you adapt the sound uh, i already know from experience these are going to be super super comfortable uh, they feel small they feel light um, and they look absolutely stunning so as i say uh, give me a few days a week or so and i'll get a full review up for you and yeah like subscribe i'll be back i have the TFZ Live X um, unboxing coming up now.